you tell us, Dr. Robin, what type of medicine do you practice? I'm a doctor of oriental medicine. Yeah. So I know you best from your book that you wrote, The Self-Care Revolution. So tell us what made you stand up for people on self-care. Oh, gosh. Um, about, about seven years ago, I was asked, like, what is the most important message you have? This is after treating well over 100 thousand patients and and that message was self-care like I, I can't tell you how many it, it, every day of my practice I look at my patients on my table and I'm thinking oh my gosh like you're suffering unnecessarily just not by not making one or two or three better choices for yourself so I took that online and um, you know I interviewed well over 150 200 speakers to share their stories about their patients too, and just like the simple things, right, that we can do that can make such a difference in our health. Could you give us an example of a, a like one or two? One or two patients? No, one or, one or two things for self-care. Oh, okay. Well, certainly food is medicine. I, I'd have to say that when I see the, some of the biggest transformations with my patients, it's when they eliminate inflammatory foods. Right, so all the white flour, white sugar, huge. Another um, is helping people like return to nature, to get back to not just outdoor nature, but turning into to finding out who you really are, like living from the truth of who you are. Like I learned in my story, right? So that's another um, big one. So self love, you know, getting back to. Living, living from your heart space and getting out of here. I think so many of us live so much of our lives in our head, and that gets us into a hell of a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. I, I love the through line of your story so much. Um, the fact that you know you tried to save your little brother, mm -hmm. and how ironically it was a health teacher, a health teacher, that advocated for you mm -hmm. and. Uh, you t you shared with me privately that it was like when you hit 15 and someone actually stuck up for you, you hit your stride and you felt your life begin. Exactly. And um, so tell us how you find that you're an advocate for others now. Hmm. Well, every single day, um, anybody who's in my presence, um, my kids, my certainly my patients, uh, my really dear close soul friends, I... I always feel like I, I give them an opportunity to upgrade their lives, whether it's a health issue or it's an emotional issue, or people are feeling isolated, you know, depressed. I see so much depression right now. Um, you know, help people to look at their lives in a, from a, a different perspective. I love that idea, regenerate, that word, re, I'm, I'm a... I love regenerative medicine. That's really what I practice. It's helping people. It's like turning a degenerative process into regeneration. That again, that's that new life, um, that new possibility. You know, that we can get out of our how we we get in our own prison. That's another word. I know what it was like to be in prison, and and the freedom and the possibility, and living the vision of your life like here now. Your center which is located mm -hmm. in Santa Fe, New Mexico, right. has so many modalities that you've brought together under one roof. Can you share a little bit about that with sure. us? Sure, Santa Fe Soul. This was a vision that I had um, when I was in college. I actually drew it in an art class. And I'm like, oh my God, am I gonna really do it? Which I did like 14 years ago, built it from the ground up. And it's a center that really represents unity and diversity, a prayer wall that represents all healing traditions and so we, we wanted not, like a non-sterile, not like, like, I think if we had healing centers all over the world that really represent our humanity, who we really are, right? Because the healing that we do is about helping people return to their, their original blueprint, let's say, getting people to live from their heart and, and out of their head. So, so my center offers about 40, 50 different uh, services so everything from acupuncture, IV therapies, um, we do massage therapy, all kinds of things, natural healing, like how to help people heal from the inside out with natural m methods. Yeah. So in three words, 
What is your meaning of life? Hmm. Live, love, and release. Thank you.